Hey guys, Chuck the Monkey here. So, I know it's been a while since I posted uh, a review for an aircraft in one of warplanes, but we're getting back into it now again. And this time we're going to be covering the Tier 6 Chinese Premium Heavy Fighter, the Mosquito FB-26. Um, this is an aircraft that you can get in the regular tech tree for the the UK, the British, the Royal Air Force. Also at Tier 6, it follows on from the Bow Fighter and the Heavy Fighter tree. But in this case, I'm covering the Chinese premium one specifically, as I don't have the British one researched. So, what do you need to know about the aircraft? Um, in my personal opinion, this is perhaps one of the um, worst heavy fighters in the game in terms of its ability to combat other heavy fighters at tier 6. Because for the Germans, you run into the ME410, and for the Americans, you run into the P38. I believe it's the P-38J at Tier 6, although I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, and the Mosquito struggles compared to both those aircraft in terms of airspeed and manoeuvrability and altitude performance. Um, it also doesn't have an abundance of hit points either, though it's on par with its, two comp with its uh, competitors at Tier 6. However, this aircraft shines in terms of its gun armament, at least in my opinion, and most certainly in the bombs and rockets department, because of the uh, external ordnance payload that you can carry. As you can see here, I've got eight rockets mounted in total, four on each wings, four, sorry, four on each wing, and then um, also there is two bombs mounted in this aircraft as well, two 500-pound bombs, and then there's the eight RP3 rockets, which means that this aircraft can be devastating to ground targets. Um, and I've had most fun playing this uh, in the in the battles and games I've had with it as basically a mix between a heavy fighter and a ground attack aircraft. Um, because you can very quickly kind of swap between roles of as a heavy fighter intercepting other heavy fighters, intercepting incoming aircraft, fighters, multi roles, going after ground targets, uh, sorry, not ground targets, going after ground attackers, and using your rockets and bombs for ground targets and taking out um, A gun positions, you know, fortified ground targets, things like that, helping your ground attackers out and capture points. So it's quite a versatile aircraft um, and certainly feels quite enjoyable to fly knowing you have that versatility where you have bombs ready to drop on ground targets or to drop behind you to see if you can surprise someone who's sat on your tail. You've got rockets which you can um, fire at aircraft with reasonable effect. But of course, you can also use them as ground targets as well, which is, I think, more what they're intended for. And then, of course, you have this wonderful nose-mounted um, forward-facing armament of four 7.7mm machine guns and then four 20mm Hispano cannons, which is a nice, quite devastating array of weaponry. Um, it's all quite accurate, reasonable muzzle velocity on it, reasonable accuracy on all of them, even without any skills or equipment to improve the accuracy. Um, and it's on a, an aircraft that certainly, while not the best at, I'd say, tier 6 heavy fighter, I think that, I think that on a, in my opinion, at least belongs to the P-38. Uh, certainly a worthy contender and, in my honest opinion, one of the best looking heavy fighters. Um, at tier 6 definitely if not in the game as a whole because to me the Mosquito is an iconic aircraft for um, World War 2 aircraft used by the RAF or by the Allied forces this thing saw service through the vast majority of the war in a variety of different roles be it photo recon as a fighter as a fighter bomber um, I think it even served as a night fighter although I may not be 100% correct on that but this thing has a, a wonderful service history and it's a wonderful aircraft um, and it's the star of the movie 633 Squadron, which if you guys haven't seen that movie and you're interested in this aircraft, or you just like the the old school pre-CGI uh, World War II films, World War II movies, it's an absolute joy of a movie to check out. And I, I love this aircraft um, because of that movie, and then later on as I looked into it, you realise how much of a... An absolute marvel this thing was because when the uh, when it was brought into service and when it first came out it was one of if not the fastest aircraft um, flying at the time so quick in fact that bf 109s at the time could not keep up with this thing and could not catch it and it wasn't until later on when the 109 design improved that eventually the mosquito could be caught in a straight line but even then it was still remarkably fast uh, remarkably quick remarkably lightweight aircraft because of its nearly all wooden construction and it's just brilliant um, in the game, if you are going to fly this thing, 
in my personal opinion, put bombers and rockets on it because you aren't a standout performer in terms of altitude performance, maneuverability or airspeed compared to the tier 6 heavy fighters but the one aspect that you shine in is having the bombers and rockets and having that extra ordnance on board because none of the other tier 6 heavy fighters can compete with you in that regard and if that's the, your standout um, st like stat, your standout area, take advantage of it. Sure, it, having them equipped reduces your airspeed even further, it reduces your maneuverability a bit but you know, you've got to play an aircraft to its strengths and its weaknesses. And if you're not, if your strengths aren't being able to straight up better than other tier six heavy fighters, then if your strength happens to be, you can have a stupid amount of ordnance on board, along with a very nice forward firing um, selection of guns. Put a stupid amount of ordnance on board. At the end of the day, I'm I've not yet had a ground attack aircraft when I've been playing games complain that I've been bombing targets or putting rockets on targets, either destroying them entirely or just damaging them for him. And Again, even if there aren't any targets to take out or your ground attackers are handling it, defend them. You know, just stick around, use the uh, the very nice boost that you have with this aircraft with it being a heavy fighter, and just, you know, stay over the objective. Even if it's just a case of, you know, you've got a guy following you that's desperate to shoot you down. If he's shooting at you and not shooting at your ground attackers and they're capturing an objective, you're helping win the game still. Even if it costs you your aircraft, sometimes it's entirely worth doing. And this is a more than capable aircraft for any role that you really need it in. Of course you can't maneuver fight with everything, you can't really kind of stay in one spot and try and contest airspace in a turning dogfight, but again, use your boost, use your airspeed, or failing that, dive, get some ordnance away to get yourself some points if you're aware that you're going to die, still make something of it. But I think this is a cracking aircraft, um, definitely worth buying, it's, I've, I've loved picking this thing up. Um, certainly not the easiest to fly, not the easiest to get used to at tier 6, but a fun aircraft once you play it to its strengths, and its strengths, as I've demonstrated, um, well, as I'm going to demonstrate in the uh, footage coming up, is this payload that it can have, and this wonderful, wonderful nose-mounted uh, weapon selection. But anyway guys, I'll, uh, I'll let you get on with watching the battles that I've got lined up for you, which was uh, three games, with some uh, quite nice scores at the end, quite nice results for those games. Uh, a couple of them taken during the final stage of the operation that's just finished, which I think has been, uh, at least in my opinion, has been a success. I've enjoyed it, despite, of course, the video on the uh, the missions where I thought they got it wrong. But I, I've still enjoyed the event regardless. I've got some nice premium aircraft out of it, both on this account and on my North American account. And, um, yeah, it's been, it's been interesting. And it's been quite a nice change from just the normal battles. So, there you go. There we go, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time.
Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Final push. Victory is ours! We're waiting for your return.
Attention all aircraft. Fall back and regroup. 